It's so hot out here plowing my father's fields. Uh, but I know someday it'll be worth it when I am the first woman elected to, to the House of Representatives. And I can promote my pacifist ideals. And all this hard work will have got me there. what are you blathering on about I'm now? plowing the fields so I can get elected to Congress. Little girls don't get elected to Congress. Don't tell me what to do. You stop this right no! now. Charles? I've known you for a long time, Jeanette, and I feel very strongly about you. And I think it's time that you got serious and settled down, got a man in your life. What do you mean? Jeanette, will you honor me with your hand in marriage? No! For years I have worked in my father's fields and helped make sidewalks. I do not need a man in my life to be complete. I can be elected the first woman to Congress without you, Charles. No, no, and no. Hello, dears. How you doing? Very Quite well. fine, thank you. Here's some soup. No, oh, lovely. Hope I... you enjoy. Why is there only one spoon? Cause y'all can share. Do you think I'm dependent on a man to eat my soup? It's just a spoon, honey. Chill out. Thank you. No one appreciates the feminist idea these days. Uh, of course. So, have you been paying attention to world news lately? Oh, of course. The boy I watched, atrocious. Yes, well, the British are always getting into things like that. I know, but so many innocent lives being lost. I mean, war should never be fought at all. If I had it my way, I would vote no to every war possible in the history of the United States. I see. Well, um, if I may get to the point, I was wondering if you'd do me the honor of giving me your hand in marriage? Why would I ruin my life by doing something so awful? What do you mean, ruin your life? I have enough money to take care of both of us for as long as we need. I'm going to be the first woman elected to Congress. I do not need your money. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give you an answer of no. A, a woman in Congress? Excuse me. Oof. Check, please. Today, Congress is deciding on whether or not the U.S. should enter the Great War. There have been much debate, but no one debates as strongly as Jeanette Rankin. No! The U.S. must remain a peaceful nation. We must keep the idea of pacifism in our minds before we go entering senseless wars. It is not senseless war if we are defending ourselves and the people who are good in this world. It is senseless. I must keep the ideas of pacifism in mind and vote no to this war. Today, we are meeting to discuss the Second World War. And once again, Ms. Rankin is the only one who objects. No! We must maintain its position as a haven for democracy. We must maintain neutrality in this war yet again. I went to Italy, India and studied from Gandhi, who taught me all about past pacifism. And I know that this is the way that we, we must go in this war. My vote is yes. No! My vote is also yes. You guys, I think you've changed my opinion. Come here. <laughs> Jeanette, I must, I must run for Congress. Jeanette, just can have you, some soup can here. You have, have some, some pamphlets soup? for me. No, so no, I can Jeanette. Run for Jeanette, Congress Jeanette, to just protest the Vietnam War. I must Jeanette. protest the Vietnam War. Peace Jeanette. must Jeanette. prevail. Jeanette. Jeanette. Ah. Just let it go. Just let go. Just let go. Oh shoot, she really did let go.